the new content project system or content builder name pending but effectively now we've done away for tools we've done away with config it's a regular dotnet console project you compile it you run it it builds your content you don't embed your content in it although as you'll see well, when we walk through this and we set one up it's a case of you just need to have a you've got a, t a tool that you control you build how it affects your content you tell it where your content is and it will just go and build it and compile it get it ready you can then control the compiled content do you want that built with your game do you want it to ship separately do you want to do different things again it's a lot more freedom not being locked down and also one of the <laughs> common complaints is that especially with extensions it's a fixed path to wherever the extension is if you wanted a debug deck extension you then had to change config again problems so with this being just a regular console project debugging it is a breeze because it is just a project you set breakpoints you can, you might have seen in some of the tom streams where we actually have just you can just in, introduce a debugger break and then it'll stop wait for you to attach a debugger and then you just debug through or you can have it connected on the time again completely up to you and a common question we have is then extensions now extensions are just donor projects and with that you can either just add them as a symbol reference you can if it's your own extension you can copy code inside the content project so it's just code with your building your content or there could be new packages because it's just it is just a dotnet console project you can reference things however you want one of the things as well we like to focus on oh not focus on is we're not sitting still so this is the early this is early days i will stress it is early days it builds it's you being used with all of our current modern samples that our patrons and supporters will have access to it's building the content there we are effectively dog fooding all this so that as we're adding content as we're finding problems we're making fixes and changes and now as we reach 385 this is where we reach out to you because we've only got so many projects even with all the resources we have we've only got so many so we need you out there testing this doing it playing with your projects trying it out and one of the sort of the things which has not made the cut for 385 but is it is promises we'll also have what we define as a content server and what a content server is instead of having to keep building it is that your content actually becomes a runtime project as you change the content it gets updated and your game uses it so your game talks to the server for getting all the assets and then the server goes and looks at the content if things changes it updates in real time and your game has it fantastic for debugging no doubt even better for shaders in when i was doing the, the 2d shader tutorial having that automatically reload while you're just tweaking and change it without having to rebuild repackage reship it is fantastic so that's not there yet it is working but we're not sort of publicizing because we're still greasing the gears but maybe we'll give out more details in a future update so when We've talked about the content project system before when it was shown in an open hours uh, session some months ago. And whenever we feel the questions on the Discord and things, a lot of the common questions that came out is like, are we starting a new project? As you will see today, no. You can if you want, but it, since the new templates don't have the content project system in it, you're going to have to add these manually anyway. But it's very simple. It's just a case of set up a project, move your content over change any settings you need for actual how you build content which again we'll go through and have it running <laughs> no i forgot i also put the answers on these slides so no it's just a project you add to your solution and you're simply moving your content over to that stopping use and stopping using the old content editor system uh will this affect my existing extensions no or not directly at least so Today, when you use extensions, you have to have it a project, you compile it, you've got to have a DLL, and then that DLL is punched to in the configuration. Now all that's happening is that you're changing how you're consuming it. It just becomes a reference in the Content Builder project. I'll highlight that, although we won't really showcase that today, but it is simply a case of if the code is available in your project, it will build, and then the actual system will use it as a reference. Bear in mind, you still need to have a reference to that extension and your runtime code so that the builder knows how to compact it 
you need the same extension in your runtime project to be able to read it back. It's a lot like playing Chinese whispers of this is how I pack the content, right? This is what you need. Same kind of process. We're not changing anything and all existing extensions will continue to work. And can I build can I build my money game project without rebuilding content? Now, also, this is something that was very tricky to do today with the content editor. But no, it's a completely separate project. If you wanted to build with your project, you can. If you want to simply be able to leave your content alone and just rebuild your code without changing the content, again, that is completely feasible. We'll show you some little tricks and tra tricks of the trade you can do now to make that possible. And whether you want it bound or you're not, again, it's completely up to you. We're trying to make this as open and as accessible as possible. Can it be automated? This is actually, this was almost front of mind when we were building the solution of a common issue complaint is that bigger studios with larger content, developers aren't building on their, on their, on their machines as it's such. When they're going to go and ship the game or going to do out, they have automation. It goes off, builds their code, and then about to put complex processes in to try and get the content compiled and get up so you can change it. And it was all, it, it was not good. But again, this is just a .NET project. You, like any other project, you can have it within the same pipeline for when you're building building your code or as a separate one for the building content. It's completely separate. And also by in fact means that you can also, once you define how you build content, you give the EXE to your, your artists who are going away building what they want and they can test, does it build? And they'll simply, or they'll simply run a command and it builds and it ships and whatever it's doing. Ultimately, it's a case of it's a separate offline tool. You can integrate it, you can't, it's up to you. Will this make your life easier? Now, that is our hope and intention. And then this is where we need to support. So we want this to be the cleanest and most easiest to use solution going. Um, like it, because it's money game and because it's C-sharp, there's still a little bit of learning you'll need to know for how you do it because it's, it's no longer just tick, tick a flag or change an option because I can see it here. You're now programmatically define your content. So Tom showed when he was in the Ascent game stream on Friday, where he was changing the scale or some of the attributes or changing how the content was imported, changing which importers were used. You're doing this programmatically and saying, right, this is what it is, but it's all in there in code, easy to do. And I would no doubt in my mind that some of our community members are going, hmm, Maybe I could build an edit for the project, which you can. We're not going to stop you. <laughs> Feel free. Anything you can do to make developers' life easier, that is our intention. Away with tools with bad mismatching configuration, problems with trying to importing, causing errors that you can't explain when you load the project. Away with it all. Easy, simple way to make games. We want the content to go with our games. It should be as easy as pie. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and tap the bell for YouTube notifications. Comment below to let us know what you'd like to see more of. Support us at monogame.net slash donate or get in touch via social media.